guys, it's Queen Deja, and today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of Run a Girlfriend. Go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh. Are you sure that's the best idea? Even though, yeah, you'll be somewhere alone in the dark, but like, mm hmm. Uh-uh. 
Okay, if you tell it. No. Yeah. Nice try. Yeah, because um, most guys don't really want to be alone on Christmas. Well, you could just go out drinking. Oh my god! I mean, look at him. Oh, his pretty eyes. Yeah, but you know you in the leg. I can't believe he was really going to stalk the crap out of her.
I mean, but like, honestly, let's look at him. He a 10 and you like a 6. Oh my god, stop being jealous. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, guys, we don't cry. <laughs> Yeah, just go home. <laughs> oh my god. Just go. Go drown yourself in booze or something, you know? I guess you did. <laughs>
It's so cute. Way too overprotective, but it's so cute. Take the plunge. You don't know what's going to happen until you try. Yeah, she might be mad at you. Yeah, there might be a misunderstanding. Maybe. <laughs> you got this? Oh. You know, just in the day run. Oh. So acting, right? Play, movie. Which makes sense. But I will say, y'all look good together. Like, mm. Whoever voices him, like, mm, thank you. Kazu, you just digging yourself deeper in the hole. No. Yeah, I mean, you were protective and you got a little jealous. Kazu.
got them something, didn't you? Yeah, that's what it was. Well, once again, misunderstandings in a nutshell, but <laughs> it was nice that she got him a case. Oh my god, do you know what that reminds me of? Mmm, mmm, mmm. How, mmm, should I, I, mm, should I say this? Freak it, I'm gonna say it anyway. Okay, this is like slight, this ain't big, big spoilers about, you know, um, kissing me from P5, but there's this part where, like, you and her go out, um, and go buy her dad some new glasses. Like, oh my god. <laughs> and it's, it's even cuter because her VAs are like, oh my god, like, I can't. And so you try on the glasses with her, it's so cute. Like, <laughs> oh my god. It was a cute little date, but just like, oh, Kazu, I, I love you. My son just, mm. <laughs> the misunderstanding. Honestly, the misunderstanding. That's <laughs> a fucking slice over, but you feel bad for him. But it was sweet that she got him a phone case, honestly. He needed it. Even after, like, he's, I mean, mm, once you break that phone, mm. But see, I honestly thought that, like, Ruka would have popped up, like, some way, somehow, and then they both would have ended up stalking me, Your Honor. <laughs> but, like, oh my god, I mean, he's so pretty. He is so pretty, oh my god. But, like, honestly, they really did look good together. And so, when you see them and just, like, that chemistry that they have, you're like, oh yeah, like, you can literally see these two together. But, I mean, we're getting... I don't know how many more episodes we have before we're done with this show. But, I mean... Is Mizuhara still in denial or regretting her feelings for Katsu? Possibly, because they haven't really had a chance to really sit down and talk about them as not even a couple but just their relationship and the dynamic between the two of them because yeah we still know that like Kazu is like head over heels in love with Mizuhara I mean I get it because she's just best girl right there I'm just saying um it is also weird that this is like what the second or third episode that mommy is not in so I'm hoping she does come back. I mean, I think for a lot of people who still kind of were on the hate train for mommy, I don't know if there's 
still going to be a point where it's going to turn around. I hope it does because, like I said, I'm like I have a love hate relationship with her, more love rather than hate. Only when she does like really stupid ish, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I gotta call. You kind of have to call her out on her ish and what she does, especially like what she did in the first half of the show. But it seems like from episode what nine to the end of this, she's gonna possibly make an appearance because it would be weird to go how many other episodes we've gone with her not being in the spotlight and her being MIA. So, I mean, yeah, it would make the most sense. I, I don't want her to, like, kind of tease Kazu again because, I mean, you gotta feel bad for him. And I don't want <laughs> I don't want her to make him cry. <laughs> but who knows? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 8 of Run a Girlfriend. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 9. Bye, guys.